Okay, so we're going to look at converting deanery into hex and binary. So let's start off with a number. So go use different colors for different things. So deanery, I'm going to use red. So 172. So first, I want to convert this into hex. So there's a couple of ways we can do this, but let's go for the most simple way first. So we can do this a lot like the way we used to do division when we we're in primary school, with seeing how many of a certain number goes into another number and then gives us a remainder. So let's have a look at seeing how many 16s go into 172. At this point you might be asking why 16s? Well, rather than having hundreds, tens, and units like we would in deanery, where 172 would be 100, seven tens, two units, hex works in numbers of 16s and units. So we want to find out what values go in here. So first, we take 172, see how many 16s go into it. So we know that 160 is going to be 10 16s. So I don't see us having any more than 10 16s there because that gives us a remainder of 12. So I can just put these values over here for now. Now I need a quick way to convert numbers over 10 into their random letter forms. So let's just do that now. So I'd recommend doing this at the start of any time that you know you're going to need to convert binary into hex into deanery. So let's put base 10 here, base 16 here, which is hexadecimal, and this was deanery. And then over here, just to save myself a bit of time in the future, go put base 2, which is binary. So let's start out writing all the numbers from 0 to 15. So we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. So let's just go through the numbers. So we've got 0 in hex, 1, 2, 3, don't know what happened there, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine. Ah, this is where we'd convert to an A, to a B, to a C, to a D, to an E. It'd let me write to an E, to an F. While we're here, may as well do it in binary as well. So, zero, 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 one. Zero, zero, one, zero, because we've got two in that column. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, one, zero, zero. Zero, one, zero, one. And so on and so forth. I'm not going to bore you with my voice. Well, too much. That's where it changes over to having head seven there. Then we move to having eight. So we could put a one in the eight column and then we just carry on pretty much. Uh, 
as before. So and that last one, one 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 one, we do know it's going to be fifteen because it's all the possible values of eight, four, two, and one all added together. Okay, so now that we've got our little table which is there to help us, we can look at what 10 is. 10 is A, so I can write A in there. And 12, 12 here, which is C. So 172 in deanery is going to be AC. Real. Okay, let's use this same technique to convert into binary. Now in binary, we don't have hundreds of and units, we don't even have sixteens and units. We have we have one two eight, we have sixty fours, thirty twos, sixteens, eights, fours, twos ones so I have to do this whole process for each of these numbers this is just method one so let's have a look so how many 128 are there in 172 well there's one how many do we have remaining? Should have 44. So we can put a one in that column. Those of you who are skipping ahead a little bit will notice I definitely already don't have 64 out of 44. So that's going to be a zero. But we still keep our 44. So Put a zero there. Now, see how many 32s we have in 44. We have one with a remainder of 12. So, in this column, I can put that there. Again, you can already see that I'm not going to have any 16s out of 12. So I'm going to keep that 12. So I can put a zero here. So if I move this just over here, you might start seeing a bit of a pattern emerging. Do you see it yet? Do you want a hint? So suddenly we've already seen 1010 has turned up in our binary number. The reason that is, is because A turned up in our hexadecimal number. But we'll carry on anyway. So how many 8s do we have in 12? We have 1 with a remainder of 4. So I'll put that in there. How many fours do I have in four? Unsurprisingly I have one four in four but with a remainder of zero. Now when as, as soon as we get to a point when we've got a remainder of zero we know that the next two numbers are automatically going to be zero. But if we've been asked to show our working all the way along then we can just do twos into zero is zero ones into zero is zero and then those numbers transfer up great so this also brings me nicely onto what would be method three 
sorry, random method two. Helps if I can count. So we already saw that A was one zero one zero. See where C is. So C is here. C is twelve. C is also one one zero zero. So if we look at it, we can block off these numbers because that means it's an A. And if we take these numbers, that's going to be C. This works both ways. So we can take any random number and convert very quickly between hexadecimal and binary just by doing it this way. Whatever number comes first in hex will be the number that comes first in binary. Same with the units going second into there and the other way around. So let's try this with a random number. So let's take EC. So I know that E is one 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 zero. And I know that C is one one zero zero. Let's prove that both of these are the same. So E is 14, so 14 times 16. is going to give us 224 plus 12, 224 plus 12 is going to be three, sorry, 236. So that's the number we want to double check to make sure this is as well. So do this in the same way, except this time, rather than dividing each of these, all we need to do is times one, where it's underneath a column, by that number, see if we get it. So, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and 1. So we only need to add up the numbers where there's a one underneath them. So, got one to eight, plus 64, plus 32, plus eight, plus four. Don't need to bother about any of the numbers with zeros underneath them. This second half, we already kind of can see, eight and four is going to be 12. So if we add up 128 and add 64 to it, that's 192. Add in our little 32 that's hanging out there. That is going to be 224 plus our 12, 236. So this little table saves us so much extra hassle in trying to work out what certain numbers are. So I can't emphasize it enough to write this table down it's pretty much the first thing that you do if ever you're asked to convert binary into hex or hex into deanery or any which way. If you need any more help, please ask. Other than that, thank you very much.